Hey, what's up guys? It's Marf and welcome back to another Asphalt 9 video and today we're going to do something a little bit different. I am ranking every single track in Asphalt 9. I figured this would be a good time to do it before Asphalt Unite releases and I believe we're getting Singapore with that uh, update or expansion as well. But I figured before that takes place, let's rank the last six years of Asphalt 9 tracks. All right, so I got the tier list maker set up, which I'll also have linked in the description down below, just in case you guys want to do this as well. And I'm curious to hear your thoughts, of course, because I know everyone has different opinions about which types of tracks they enjoy, and I'll certainly be sharing those with you today. So without further ado, let's get into it. Okay, so at least for this track list, I've had to add the most recent, which is Norway, because that was not included, so I had to update that. Um, but besides that, I'm pretty sure this is every single track all right, so let's start out with the first track. We got Auckland here, one of the more recent tracks and one of the more controversial ones as well. Now, I was kind of excited for this because I heard it was based on real tracks, um, but it seems like it's more or less just implementing tracky things, tracky things. I hope that's a word. But anyway, I'm just going to put it in C tier. Obviously, if you have a Vando or a Huracan, you're going to love this track. But honestly, it doesn't embrace the asphalt, it, the spirit, I guess you could call it, in my opinion. There's no crazy jumps going over mountains or rivers or anything like that. Um, it's too grounded, literally. So I'm going to put that in C tier. Next up, we got Buenos Aires, which I know is another twisty base track. Again, something you're going to love driving a Huracan or a Vanda in. But this one embraces the spirit a bit more, in my opinion. It's not an amazing track, but I do enjoy driving on it, especially on those slower cars. So you can actually turn around the corners, which are way too sharp, in my opinion. So while the track design itself may be a little sketch, I do love that section over the water with the bridge, with the skyline in the background. That is pure asphalt, in my opinion. So it goes in B tier. All right, next up we have Cairo. Now this is one of the OG tracks and in my opinion, one of the best for top speed focused cars, but you also do have some twists and turns in there, but the sections of highway where you're just doing barrel rolls up the wazoo is one of my favorite and it's given us some of the best moments in Asphalt 9 Esports as well. So that's why it goes in A tier. I'm not gonna put it in S tier just because while yes, it's a very enjoyable track, there's nothing that like wows me about it. There's nothing that every time I play the track, I get amazed at. I know the track pretty well, and obviously it's been in the game since the very beginning. Um, but I don't think it's like best tracks of Asphalt in the entire series. Next up, we have Greenland, yet another recent track. This one I quite enjoy. I'm going to put it straight into A tier. You've got the moving icebergs that you jump over with those huge straightaways. You also got the geysers that boost you up into the air, which I absolutely love. And this definitely embraces the asphalt spirit. So I absolutely love this track. Next up, we got another OG track. We got the Himalayas. I don't know what I'm doing with my hands. Anyway, we got the Himalayas. I love this track. Y'all know it's a top speed focus track. So I love it. Of course, classic at the beginning of the game when I got my Regera. This was just so fun. I'm going to put it in S tier. Again, some great moments in Asphalt Esports as well, but multiplayer is really fun on this track. Next up, we got, I believe, the only remade track in Asphalt 9, which, by the way, I hope we see more of, to be honest. Um, but we got Nevada. And while it is one of the classic Asphalt 8 tracks, and it works really well in that game, with the hairpin corner, with the amount of boats that there are in Asphalt 9, I just don't think it fits the bill quite so good compared to some other tracks in this game. So for that reason, I'm going to put it in B tier just because, of course, I have nostalgia for that track. Next up, we got New York, and I'm just going to put it in C tier. It's all right. That's that's really about it. You know, it has a good combination of twists and straightaways, but like, it's all right. All right, so now we move on to Osaka, and this is a tough one, to be honest, because I feel like even though it is a pretty twisty track, it's not laid out to be super annoying. Of course, you got the straightaway with the river in the middle um, with the highways and all that. And you have a little bit of destruction going through the garage and the shopping center. Um, but I don't know. It's just it's not my favorite track, of course, but it's also not awful, you know. So for that reason, I'm going to put it in. I'm going to put it in C tier for now. OK, next up, we have one of the most recent tracks. We got Paris and let me just, I have to rant about this for a second. It's gray. There's no color in the entire track. It's gray. It's completely flat. The ramps, 
that are placed there don't actually lead anywhere. They just put you right back on the track. So it's flat in color. It's flat in texture. It's flat in verticality. Honestly, in my opinion, this is the worst track in Asphalt 9. It's not enjoyable to drive on. You're just turning left and then you're turning right and then you turn left again and then you turn right. Like that section that squiggles through the whole city. That's literally the most boring gameplay in Asphalt 9, in my opinion. So for that reason, I'm going to put it in D tier. Next up, we got Rome, yet another OG track. And honestly, I'm just going to put it straight into A tier. Um, even though it isn't super top speed focused, it is just such a nice blend of the entire gameplay of Asphalt 9. You do have sections where you rip past 200 miles an hour, but you also have sections where you need to master the mechanics of Asphalt 9 in order to take advantage of the track layout. And so for esports, I think it's one of the best. Next up, we got another OG in San Francisco. Um, you know, to be honest, in the first part of Asphalt 9, I thought it was really fun because of the verticality. And I really do love that, especially um, in some of the later sections where you go either down the whole street or up the whole street. That part is really fun. But for me, it's gotten a little stale lately. I feel like I've gotten everything there is out of this track. With some of the other tracks, they just keep giving and giving. But with San Francisco, it's good, but it's not amazing. Next up, we have Scotland. And I kind of feel the same way, to be honest, that I do about San Francisco. It's a good track. That's about it. Next up, Shanghai. That's going straight into A tier. Honestly, it's another track that has really good balance of straightaways and corners. Now with Shanghai, some of the variants definitely lean on the straightaway side, whereas others lean on the twisty side. So that's why I'm going to put in A tier just because it has so much good variety. Next up, we have Caribbean that's going in C tier. C for Caribbean. This track is not really that fun, to be honest. You really only have a good time if you have a car that has really good handling. Now, I can do pretty well in a car like the Apollo N or some of the A tier cars. Um, but honestly, there just isn't too much to this track, in my opinion. It is quite a good test for esports, right? Because it challenges the handling mechanics and your line really, really well. But in terms of the fun, and especially in multiplayer, when you're trying to collide with other players to get through the tight corners, it's just not that great for multiplayer. So I'm going to put it in C tier. All right, so we got three left to go. First up, we got Tuscany, which was recently added right before Norway. And you might be thinking I'm going to put it immediately in C tier just because it is very top speed unoriented. I don't know why I started with top speed. I was going to say it's handling focused, but then I said top speed for some reason. Anyway, it's very handling focused. Vandas just beat every car in this track. It's incredible. But the track is stunning. It is beautiful. The lighting is incredible. So just for that reason, I'm going to put it in B tier because it looks like a next gen track and some of the areas are fun, but it's chaotic. So, all right. So second to last, we got the U S Midwest, which I, can we be honest? Why is the name just United States Midwest? That's, that doesn't make sense to me. Why not name it something more specific? I mean, everything else has a specific name. Even Scotland is more specific kind of. Anyway, I love this track so so much my favorite individual variant which is whirlwind curve is on this track it just has a nice flow and no matter what layout you get i think it works really well so for that reason i'm gonna put it in s tier all right so last but certainly not least we have the latest addition to asphalt 9 this is norway and purely it's just fun I don't think it's the best track design. I mean, you know, in that section where you go over all the jumps, sometimes there's that pipe in the middle and you just crash and you can actually do nothing about it. You're just flung straight into that object and you crash. So it's not necessarily the best in terms of competition and balance or whatever. But if there was any track in Asphalt 9 that I would describe Asphalt as just crazy over the top jumps, spins, you know, the scenery, um, the speed that you can achieve on this track is incredible, especially if you have the Devil 16. So even though it's not fair sometimes, like, let's be honest, in terms of layout, but in terms of fun, I mean, you can't go wrong with this track. So for that reason, for now, I'm going to put it in S tier. 
All right, so that is all of the tracks in Asphalt 9 ranked in the tier list maker. I don't know if people still do these, but I figured why not? You know, it's fun and I haven't done one for the track yet. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Do I have any hot takes over here? I don't know. I feel like some of them are a little more hot takey than the others, um, but I enjoyed doing this. So yeah, thank you guys very much for watching and I'll catch you guys later.